Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Figaro. I fucked up. Ah. What happened, bro? What happened, bro? I, I never told know, this bro. fucking I know, story. Bro. I, I never said that, bro. It was ugly. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> that, bro. That. Because people used to make that, fun of me, be like, yeah. I can't hear you. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And then, boom, fire. Bro. God, just get Just turn it all the way up. Let's turn it to like 75 so it don't turn back on. Because it's going to be too loud. All good? All right. Bad. We're ready to go, man. Both cameras going? All right. Cool. Yo, what is up with you guys? We are back with another episode, another banger here of Everybody Hates Jabber. And yo, I am super excited for this, dude. We are got we got a Tulsa legend in the building today, guys. Yeah. You guys see him, you guys know him. Juke twenty one K on the pod today. The fuck and, is up? What the fuck is up, y'all? The fuck is up? And we in the beautiful city of Dallas today, guys. Uh, at the famous Airbnb. For those that know, y'all know. Uh, but yeah, we out here. We chilling. Glad to be here. Glad to have you on, bro. How you liking it out here in Dallas so far, man? I love it. It's yeah. like. I love it. It's like a less congested. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, now it's more like L.A., but hey. Yeah. Yeah. Now it's closer to home. Yeah, you know what I'm for saying? sure. So it's easy just yeah. to get in the mix. You know what I'm saying? Right. That's the thing I like about it the most, too, is it's real close to Tulsa. So you can come here and you can do anything that you want to do. I mean, Dallas got everything. Anything yeah. and everything that you want to do, is you can do it right here in Dallas. And it's a yeah. four-hour drive from the crib. You know what I mean? So it's easy to come. Anyways, we got a little bit of liquor here today. You want to take this shot real quick, bro? Uh, yeah. yeah. Cheers, Cheers to my face. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what it tastes like. I'm not even gonna think about it. It's it's, a, it's some decent shit. Uh, what's some hair on your cheek? Yeah, a little bit. You know what's funny, bro? Is the person that got me on hard liquor like that, bro, is my female cousin. Bro, she drinks hard ass fucking whiskey, bro. Hard whiskey. My bro a little bit fucked up right now. Nigga. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck? That shit happened fast. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. <laughs> shit happened fast. For real, bro. For shit. real. Oh, man. But let's go ahead and get into this, bro. So, like I was saying, you know what I'm saying? We here in the beautiful city of Dallas. Man, what brought you here to Dallas over staying in Tulsa, you know? Uh, my daddy side of the family and, like, you know, my older brother, like, we real close. You know what I'm mm. saying? Like, my manager. But uh, he is my manager. Uh, he lived here and it was just easy to come down here like oh this is a little brother so yeah. it's just like he already networked the yeah. fuck out out here okay I got you bit. so it's like yeah. everything that I need is here so it's already here not, you know yeah. do what the fuck right. I do so I know like a lot of times like cause I'm always uh, in like between like I want to move out here but I also want to stay in Tulsa it's like I don't want to make that it's jump different. you know what I'm saying like what was it that finally pushed you to make that jump to come out here full time uh, you just got to do it, man. Yeah. Like, you just got to do it. It's about how bad you want it, how bad you want that change, you know. Yeah. You got to know at first it's going to be uncomfortable. Yeah. You're going to see people's faces change, all yeah. type of shit. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So. Yeah. And see, like, for me, I'm I'm not, I'm not from Tulsa. I'm from Kansas. I've just been living in Tulsa the past couple of years. So it's still kind of new to me. So, like, I'm still, like, I love Tulsa. You know what I'm saying? I'm still, like, falling in love with it, as you may say. You know what I'm saying? Where it's, like, you grew up in Tulsa. You lived in Tulsa. So it's kind of, like almost a different feel for you maybe you know what i'm saying like you always kind of want to get out of the place that you started in kind of i was always like just a live ass person like, yeah so everything i do so it's like i don't know this that fast speed is just for me like, yeah you know, it is a little bit faster fast. if you kind of like that faster speed which mm-hmm. i do like that city feel you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. but sometimes i also feel like i'm just not quite there yet you know what i'm saying i'm, yeah. I'm still in that level gotta, where i just need to gotta grow a little bit yeah grow a little bit way. you know exactly you know, type shit going, you know. So is this is this home now, like, or do you think you finally gonna uh, go, go yeah, somewhere else? Yeah, uh, for right now, hell yeah, yeah. Like it's just comfortable. I'm comfortable yeah. here. Got my friends. I got my circle. Like, yeah. So it's like I could just chill here, like I'm home. You know, of course I yeah. drive a couple hours back to Tulsa here and yeah. there, but yeah, yeah. It's home. So where do we get the name uh, Juke from? Juke Twenty One K. Break that <laughs> name down for us. Uh, whenever I was little, I thought I was gonna be like. 
uh, uh, NFL fucking superstar. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. So love, That's what you like, I NFL? I love football. Yeah. I love football. Yeah. And uh, basically, I went to this team, and it was like, it's crazy how that shit happened. So I played for this team, and then, like, every day after practice, I would, like, when the team in the huddle, I would just start telling them a, like, a story. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I would just start telling them a story, and they'd be, like, real drew in, but, like, they'd be laughing the whole time. So one yeah. day after practice, my coach is like, hey, uh, you want to do you want to do comedy? You want to do comedy? I'm like, eh, whatever, whatever. You know what I'm saying? I kind of yeah. blew it out. Then uh, I went to practice a couple more days, and, like, I, it was just like a, I was just – Basically, on the scout team offense, but they started defense. I was new players to the team. Right, right. Shit, they was like, we need somebody to run the ball. I was like, I'll do it. I'll do it. They gave me the ball, and I juked the whole motherfucking team. <laughs> <laughs> they just I juked the whole juke. team, and they started calling me Jukum. Like, Jukum is oh, the okay, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's Juke is short. You know, okay. Juke is short, so it's yeah. Jukum. It's not Juke, it's Jukum. Yeah. But Juke is just short. It, once it got short, and then I just, you know, had went through some shit, and, you know, a whole bunch of different shit and came up with the 21k shit yeah you know what I'm saying? yeah yeah that shit's actually hard street, though so, yeah i so like, like just, that there's actually like a extra name shit in there for a professional brand to yeah. just make it sound more professional. type shit yeah. yeah i do like that there's like a, a story behind it you know what yeah, i mean yeah. niggas would be fucking on fucking rap name generator on fucking yeah, fuck, <laughs> you know man. what i'm this saying shit, like this shit gotta be shit. just it just gotta happen man. yeah if it's meant for you bro i've never had a nickname i never had a nickname bro everybody just call you jl that's JL, bro. That's it. Fuck it. That's a nickname. They think it's a nickname because they're yeah. like, That's your name? It's my actual name. It's like spelled <laughs> out. It's like J A E L L E, but it's pronounced J L. Oh, fuck. Exactly, right? So, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's crazy. That's the exact reaction I get, bro. <laughs> oh, like, shit. oh, shit. Yeah, like, niggas so probably not... took a shot of whiskey and smoked, some, smoked a little something, something when they found it out, too. <laughs> that shit hit different. <laughs> Nigga chest a little sweaty. <laughs> oh shit. fuck yeah, definitely. So when did you actually have that realization that like, oh shit, I can actually rap? Uh, shit, I've been really like, I ain't gonna care. I wrote my first song when I was like second grade. Yeah. Really, nigga, I always thought I could rap. Yeah. I always knew I could, like, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, not to sound like, see, but I always just did it. Like yeah. me, my brothers, and my cousin, like we had a little group and shit. Like we yeah. was in like third, fourth grade, getting beats off blind wire. And then yeah. going to go get a okay. tape from the store, Niggas put the tape in the tape recorder, yeah. and play the line wire beat and rap over the stuff so we could record our voice and yeah. hear it back. Like yeah. we just, you yeah. know what I'm saying? I was always personally like uh, obsessed with the fact of making the song and then listening to it a thousand million times. Like in critique facts, myself. bro. Facts. Like, um, I used to make music too, I, I, and I've always thought that like I can rap. I still think I can rap, yeah, honestly. Yeah, nigga, but yeah. like making songs though it's different that's different it's different that's so much different and i've never yeah, really like i'm like I'm, i think i can rap but i don't know if i can make a banger and make a song you know make it a take, hit type take, shit it like take a lot of like psychology and yeah you know some people can naturally do it but like, yeah you know some if you can't just write a hit you know you gotta know it yeah. simplifying a hit get that bitch yeah. down by 40 words yeah you is that what kind of what it was like for you like did you or did you kind of have like a yeah. natural talent for what I you was think? Just go, I, it just was what came yeah. out like i do a whole bunch of shit that weekend yeah. i get in the booth i kind of got in me my producer and get up in that motherfucker yeah and just yeah. let it out and then it just over time <laughs> i started caring about it more it started getting more serious people started paying more attention yeah. so it's yeah. like oh shit yeah like i see what i can do what was that like whenever like you first started getting that like attention and shit? Uh, the first time was probably like five years ago and like come and go and it was like a whole okay. family and it was like, oh my god, you juke, <laughs> you juke twenty one k and yeah. like at the time I was just dropping music under the name Juke. Yeah. They gave me that name. Uh, they started calling me Juke twenty one k. Yeah, so I was like, that's my name. Like, yeah. Fuck why? It. Why? Because the first mixtape I dropped on SoundCloud was called Twenty One K, and they just ran it they together ran when they seen it. me. Okay, and I was so they like, kind of gave you the name. Yeah, that's lit. hell that's yeah, lit. Hell that's yeah. Lit. That's it was lit. natural. Hell yeah, because I kind of get that feeling sometimes now too. Like I'm nowhere near, you know what I'm saying? Like at the level that you're at, you know what I'm yeah. saying? But like sometimes I'll be at work, somebody random will come in, and they'll be like, "Who's the next pod with?" And I'm like. You talking to me? <laughs> like, yeah, nigga, you yeah. talking to me? Watching? Hey, yeah. thanks, bro. Yeah, like, yeah. That should be crazy. And I'm just like, damn. Like, just the other day, somebody came in and asked about it. They were like, you got a podcast, right? And then, like, one of our employees was like, damn, are you famous or what? And I'm yeah, like, yeah, they give, you, give, you that, <laughs> yeah, yeah, give like, you that extra motivation you really need. It does, just, bro. Like, people don't understand how, like, important that shit is, like, to just be real, authentically telling a nigga, like, yeah. hey, bro, I heard that song. Like, that shit push a nigga yeah. further than what the fuck you think. It really does, you know what bro. I'm saying? That shit paying the bills now, nigga. Yeah, yeah, so shit, yeah. Man, that's when you like, all right. Yeah. You know, you know what I'm saying? So, Facts. shit, motherfuckers yeah. don't be realizing just how much that – 
hey, bro, your song really kept me from, you know, committing suicide. I done got yeah. some serious shit like some this. And I'm shit, like, yeah. well, damn. Because yeah. uh, music will really it. change somebody, bro. Like, uh-huh. you, people fall in love with music differently than they fall in love with a lot of shit, bro. Because music is one of those things where, like, a movie, for instance, like, for me, if I've seen a movie once, I don't want to see it again. Man, fuck that, yeah. You know oh, what I mean? I, mean, I don't want to watch that movie end. again. Yeah. But if I but hear a song that like... shit that you didn't see before Which is true. But that is true. And, like, I used to watch, but now I'm just like, I know what the plot is. I know what's coming. You, you know it. what I'm saying? You got the point. You got the point. But, like, matters. music, though, you listen. You find a song that you like, you'll listen to that shit oh, straight man. for three, four, or five months. Just be oh, playing it. My girl be getting mad at me nowadays because I just be if I find something I like I'm playing that over shit over and over and over. I'm that's playing the fuck out that to. shit. That's bro. your mood. That's what keeps you exactly, going. Exactly, bro. Gets you, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you just like it, you fall in love with that shit way differently than anything else for sure. So your sound, right? It's a little bit different yeah. than than a lot of other people, a lot of other you know what I'm saying rappers per se. You know what I'm uh-huh. saying? Where do you think like you got that that sound from? What would you say was your biggest influence for that sound? <sighs> Man, oh, I like I ain't gonna care. I listen to like, like really melodic. Anybody that's melodic can play with them spaces yeah. in the middle. Like I listen to Thug, like Future. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Just yeah. Like <laughs> for people that's like glow, like I, like, I'm not gonna say just like idolizing, but like you know they'd be like, oh yeah, like that's like you Some know they like, like global yeah. superstars. These these people are going to Dubai and doing shows yeah. and stuff. You know what I'm right. saying? That's what I'm yeah. not trying to just be no. United States, like, I'm trying to go ahead and get that kind of go to, like, Switzerland or yeah. some shit like that. So. Is that, like, what kind of drew you into that that type of sound? Uh, I don't know. Well, I, I, I'm more of a, like, I, I grew up singing. Okay. But, like, in church like choir. In church? Like, oh, okay. I've always been in choir. I've always Damn, sung. Damn, I used to sing church like, choir, you know, too. my mom, growing up, my mama would always randomly do this. She'd be like, if you had to sing for somebody right now to get to get a record deal or something like that, what would you sing? And I would just, like, she would give you me, like, singing? Yeah, she started doing it to me at oh, a young shit, age, and yeah. I never knew really why, yeah. bro. She just would always do that. Yeah. And then she would, like, line me and my brother and sister up in the kitchen and, like, make her sing. We messed up on a note, you're going to get hit in your stomach or something. So all of us singing, well, like, you know, shit, fuck it. This one's all right. It's all right. Bro. I had to ask, bro. I'm going to hit that hell a couple <laughs> times. Yeah, yeah. It, a couple times. I don't really cool. be smoking, smoking like that. We be letting you know, but yeah. yeah. That's it. I mean, yeah, it's cool, bro. I'm a cougher, though. Like, So if you see me over here coughing. Good? I'm a cough already, bro. It don't matter what it is. Yeah, I'm good. I'm just, I just be coughing, nigga. I don't know why, bro. Niggas ask me that shit all the time, too, bro. I cough, they be like, damn, bro, you good? And I'm like, bro, I'm just a cougher, bro. Like, it don't matter what I smoke, I'm going to cough. Like, <laughs> that shit's always. funny, man. That shit is funny as hell. But yeah, like, it was always just, man, I, I never really seen, like, I always looked, like, up here for some yeah. reason. I've never, yeah. it just was natural like that. I yeah. just have a mama, a lot to do with how my mom and my dad, like, raised me. I got you. Put, what they instilled in my head. Yeah. Days, Did you man. have both parents in the house, too, with you? Uh, Not all the time. Yeah. You know, my, my dad's presence was always basically there. Basically I there. Provided, I got know, you. So I, yeah. Not gonna do them like them other niggas would do they daddy hell yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> my, my nigga That's what's up though. I mean, cause a lot of times, hey, even if they're not there, like all the time I was just talking about that with my girl all the like earlier today, you know, like I would be okay like if I'm not there for a hundred percent of my kid's life. Right. You know what I mean? Right. If I can make it to ninety percent, I'll be all right. Oh God. You know what I mean? Oh, because at the end of the day, like my kids are gonna have to learn too that like sometimes you're gonna have to make sacrifices to get mm-hmm. the things that you want in yes. life. And sometimes that may mean missing some shit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you a birthday or quick. two. You gotta get it done quick. You gotta get, you, gotta you know get what I'm saying? Shit done quick. So yeah. I'm on a fucking mission. On me, on me, I'm on a mission. So it's like shit. I'm on a motherfucking mission. On me. So do you think that you get more love with that sound that you got like here in Dallas than you did in Tulsa, or do you think you got more love in Tulsa? Dallas, my biggest demographic out of Tulsa and Dallas, yeah. so Dallas. Yeah. Tulsa, Tulsa, fuck with me. Don't get me wrong, like, right. but you know, like I can, I, I can't, like, I. In public, I can go anywhere and somebody's gonna know me. Yeah, I don't give a damn what you talking about, who yeah. you is. Yeah, nigga, spend a day with me. I yeah. swear to God, you gonna Somebody, if I'm in yeah. Tulsa, you spend a day with me. It ain't one, it ain't one person in the, in the building anywhere I go that it, one motherfucker like I'm yeah. pretty goddamn like known yeah. there, like for real. And it's more, but it's more of a diverse kind of like listen and playing like you know playing field here in Dallas and in Tulsa. Hell Tulsa, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Niggas in Tulsa, they don't want to see you go they, up. They bro. don't like, want to do that. They it's, don't. It's, it, 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 in the day it's my it, in the day it's like my hometown. So it's yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I mean shit it is what it is. Like shit, you gotta know how to do your your uh closing the gap. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Facts, facts. And that's just what's gonna get you to where the fuck yeah. if you really got a goal, a mission you driven and these motherfuckers' minds are so smart, they right. You gotta make that move and let yeah. them know, like, hey, I wasn't the same as you niggas. Yeah. 
You know right, what I'm saying? Right, right. And that's kind of, I mean, even like from where I come from, you know what I'm saying? Another small town in Kansas, like, it's the same way, bro. Like, I get way more love in Tulsa and in other places, Oklahoma City and shit, than I do from anybody in Kansas. You know what I'm saying? Like, niggas in Kansas. I'm a school nigga. Your breath is just thinking the morning. Literally, bro. Nigga, yeah, I remember you, nigga, nigga. Yeah, oh God, nigga, bro. you had on them fubus, nigga. <laughs> yeah, yeah, nigga, yeah, bro, you, nigga. Yes, bro, <laughs> you know yes, that's the exact type of shit that they be on, too, bro. Like, they just don't want to fuck with you because they knew you. Like, damn, and it's crazy because before I started this, bro, I thought them was going to be the first niggas that was going to be like, good shit, bro. Like, I see you doing your shit. It's going to take a lot more to get them to do it. They'll do it eventually, but it's going to take a lot more. A lot more, and, bro. Yeah, because it's like, motherfuckers don't even really listen to my music, but they know who I am, so they act like they fuck with me. You know what I'm saying? But once you get to that level, like, yeah. they're going to be like, pretty fucking sick. They're going to have to do it. If they don't do yeah. it, they envious. You know exactly, exactly. You got to do it in their face. <laughs> bring it to them. Like, and I think I that's a lot shit. of times what it is, too. A lot of niggas is just envious. You know what I'm saying? They mm-hmm. see you actually doing something that they want to do or that they wish that they could do. But they don't have the fucking balls to fucking do it. It be the people where you from. Mm-hmm. It be your own people. It be your own people, bro. They don't be lying, bro. It be bro. your own people. It be your own people, bro. <laughs> <laughs> they said, fuck that. This no nigga mean. not finna. They do it till they hold you down. <laughs> no facts, bro. And yo, y'all so, motherfuckers get that small town popularity and mm-hmm. ride that shit. No, mm-hmm. nigga, this isn't enough. I want to be a fucking global superstar yeah. that calls for lonely nights. Yeah. Nigga, yeah. record, nigga. Yeah. Sacrifice and going out, nigga. Yeah. Hey, fuck it. I'm gonna just chill in the house and see if I can, you know, better my craft. Now, it is a such thing as overworking. So Facts. nigga, whatever's Facts. natural, nigga. If I feel like I need to play the game, the first urge I get, I'm playing. The I'm, motherfucking I'm, I'm game. fucking chilling. You got to get your inspiration for the yeah. Money. I'm know? the same way, bro. Cause I, I I I miss a lot of shit, bro. I miss a lot of fucking uh, a lot of going outs and hanging out with the friends and shit like that. But it's just like, bro, I got shit to do, bro. You know what I mean? But like you said, bro, the first time a nigga want to fucking sit down and watch some TV, nigga, uh-huh. and smoke and chill, nigga, uh-huh. oh, best believe I'm finna sit down, nigga, <laughs> and chill, nigga, for sure. You got to take, take that time off. You got to take that time off. So yeah. coming up in Tulsa for you, like, where it seems like a lot of people don't want to show you love and, like, unless you famous, right? Like, what was that come up like for you? Like, did they, was it just kind of like you just said, just... Niggas just I was always over. like an aggressive ass nigga. Like I, yeah. I'm a cool, funny, goofy motherfucker. But like I was always aggressive. Like mm-hmm. anybody who know me, like they know how the fuck I'm getting down. What do you mean by aggressive? Like I'm a very push my idea type nigga. Okay, yeah. I'm a very like nigga. This what we doing type yeah. nigga. Like yeah. I'm very influential yeah. amongst my homeboys and shit okay. like that. You know, what I'm saying? the leader just, of the pack, pretty much. Optimus you know, Prime, I've always had that influence. Yeah, so okay. it, was, it was just easy to do yeah. this shit. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. It was just like, oh, this like you know you you you, you was already a little bit rapping and then like I went get I got locked up and shit and then when okay. I got locked up, nigga, I was like looking at my videos on the phone when I was in that bitch and I was yeah. just like. Nigga, I can do something with this shit. Yeah. Like, it just started clicking. Yeah. And then I just was like, let me give it a couple more times. And it just started sparking. Like, yeah. it just started fucking going. It what was, was just natural. What was that like being, like, locked up for you? Like, going from starting what you was doing, getting that little bit of traction right, and then, like, having to go to jail and sit down for some time? Like, Ooh, uh, it was a, uh, I'm not going to, it wasn't, like, I had, I'm going to keep it real. I had, like, way too much fun than what a person was supposed to have was supposed in their to first bid. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. So it was just like it wasn't hard for me. I had yeah. cell phone all the time. Like it was, yeah. you know what I'm saying. Went yeah. up to medium. Mm-hmm. Had 18 points. You know what I'm mm. saying. They had to override me from going to a max. So I went down to medium, and I went to a Sayer. Mm. And that shit was live. It wasn't no gates, no nothing. It was live. How long was you locked up for? Shit, I was there for like a year, and then and I like went down jail to security. Or like prison. Prison. Damn. And then damn. I went down to security. Okay. Bam, and yeah. went to like Bonita. Yeah. Yeah. Went to Bonita. See, and I, I kind of agree, like, which is, like, I mean, I never went to, to jail after I turned 18. I went to juvie a couple times, you know what I'm saying? But, like, the first time I went to juvie, bro, I remember at first, like, when I first went, bro, I ain't gonna lie, like, I did cry. I didn't cry because I was scared. Don't <laughs> I swear Why to God, cry? I didn't cry. Why you I cry? cried? I cried because I called my auntie, bro. I called my auntie. She's oh the one God, that raised it's me, bro. Hit different. You and, bro, tell them, as soon let them as know. she said, like, yes, I was like, because I called her, I said, hey, Ginger, she said, Yes, baby. Ah, nigga. Hey, did you see No, Bro, I just said, I'm going to jail. <laughs> I started crying. Yeah, that's fucked up. That's fucked up. Because I felt bad, bro. Like, she's just such a, they were such good people yeah. in, in my life. You know what I mean? And, like, to know you that. You know like, they influenced you better than that. You way better than that. And I disappointed them so much that's now to sad. the point where I'm going to juvie. So that shit hit me different. Ooh. But, like, when I got in there, bro, like. 
a nigga was low key living, bro. Like I had my friend, like I had made a couple friends. We was chilling oh, yeah, in there. Yeah, yeah. We was laughing. You know what I'm saying? My best friend that was at, at the time, he's fucking in prison for like attempted murder now. But yeah, I know, bro. It'd be like that, shit. bro. It'd yo, be me, like yo, that. me. But he was in there with me. We had both got caught up on the same shit. So he was in there with me. We was just clowning. We was in there rapping and shit every day, playing basketball. At the time, I was living with my mom at the time, and like things was just it was a struggle. You know what I mean? Yeah, so yeah. like. Food was hard, you know what I'm saying? Like, like keeping yeah. the lights on was hard. I'm in juvie eating better than I was on the street, you know what so I'm saying? Niggas start, yeah, some they niggas, was giving us hey, big like, meals, that's, you know that's what I'm saying? fucked up because some niggas, they get used to it because of that. Exactly, you know bro. Like, and I, like, I remember getting out and being like, almost kind of like, damn, I'm glad to be leaving, but like, that wasn't that bad, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, that's, that 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 fucked up, that's <laughs> that fucked up thought. Did you can't hear? But I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, nigga, ever since I every time, 18, nigga, hell no, hell no. Nah. Cause now I mean, that I'm eighteen time. though, or like once I pass eighteen, I'm like, now, nah, now, nah, big jail. That ain't that ain't gonna be the same thing. You know what I'm saying? That ain't juvie. And nigga ain't trying to go there. I ain't been to jail yet since right. I turned eighteen. So right. trying to stay up at that thing. But did that? Uh, how did that? Like, what did that teach you though? Like in life, you know what I'm saying? It's just about shit. That when move. you do that type of shit, it affects your family too, and yeah. that's all it took. Yeah. To start yeah. realizing most shit. Like, yeah, hell, nah, nigga, I'm in jail. My mom in jail too, basically. Hey, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You got to care about your people enough to know Facts. how it affects your family, especially if you a certain type of character in your family. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, you're exactly. supposed to be the fucking glue or help be the glue to your family. Yeah. And you over here fucking off. Everybody got to know their role. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Niggas be trying to. And that's exactly what it was for me too, bro. Just realizing that, like, damn, this shit don't just affect me. Like, Hearing my auntie's voice, you know what I'm saying? Like, the people that I heard, like... Yeah, they be they worried about you. They was worried, you know what I'm saying, happen. and shit. Like, and I'm just like, damn, I can't do this shit no more, you know? Mm -hmm. That shit woke me up for real. It woke me up for real. But, uh, so now, you know what I'm saying, like, you have been able to get some success, right, with your stuff. Like, right. how has that love changed <laughs> now that, like, you kind of are a little bit bigger now? Motherfuckers, like, I know for a fact, like, when motherfuckers see me, think about it, they're like, he's a rapper. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that mean I successfully did whatever I need. I worked hard enough or, you yeah. know, did the lifestyle or everything that I needed to do for these people to call me that. Yeah. Because, nigga, I was just doing shit. So it's yeah. like, you know, like. Yeah. What were those first shows like? All right, my first show, it went crazy. Like, went, it was crazy because I was in a group. Uh -huh. <laughs> we all had with single artists, but like we would group up and okay. they love that shit. Yeah, yeah, and we all had our different demographics and shit. Did you have like, like a name I for the group? Had it, it was just called BLE. Okay, Living. it's still the same label. Being Living Entertainment. It's the same. Okay, thing. yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm ripping the same game. It okay. ain't gonna never motherfucking change. Like, let's go. You know let's what go. Saying? Just my yeah. partners fell back a little bit. For they sure. Still be. They yeah. still can rap. Them niggas that kind of got a lot to do with my style. Yeah, for real. Like yeah. we, you know, one of my homies was like a lyricist, and one of my homies showed me the art of like making melodic songs mm -hmm. and singing and like course and hook and what an EP was like. You know, what I'm saying? yeah, yeah. Shout Dude, out that my shit nigga is different too. too. I, I fuck brother. with that shit, bro. Like the shit that you do, especially when you can make it sound good. Like that new shit that you about to put out. I don't know what it's called or anything. It was like the one you. It was like on some Juice World type shit. You was like. I get racks in the I need, yeah, and yeah, yeah. I, I ain't need sleep. racks in my bed before I got That shit is going to bust, bro. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. this shit right here yeah, is different, bro. Is, like, that's that's the ugly when I sling that hook. <laughs> I think my throat dry. Hold on. <laughs> nigga, I'm one of them niggas like, hold on, nigga. Gotta drink some water. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, my baby spit the water out. <laughs> nigga, stupid. <laughs> hey, nigga, oh, stupid. No. Oh, fuck, bro. You funny as fuck, yeah, bro. Yeah, it's the vibe, bro. Oh, shit. I appreciate vibe, it, bro. bro. Appreciate you already oh, yeah. know, my nigga. <laughs> it's the vibe, bro. You can't create shit like this. It just happens, you know? That is facts, bro. That's the thing I love the most about this, too, bro, because a lot of times, bro, this is the first time, just like now, bro. First organic. time we ever meet, bro. Organic. You know what I'm saying? It's For real. Just, it's just be yeah, organic yeah. connections, you know what Hell I'm saying? Yeah, just bro. talking about life, talking about, it's you know what I'm saying, happen. success, and talking about shit that you're doing, you know what I'm saying? It's supposed to happen. For sure. For sure. Happen. That's what I really feel. Because, like, I've done a lot of shit, bro. Like, I've done a lot of shit to try to do, like, things for my own self, if you will. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want to work for somebody else. So I've done a lot of things, but nothing feels as organic and as fun and as real as this. You know what I mean? That, like, that's You got a passion for that. This is what I, like, really love the most. You know passion. what I'm saying? Like, and it's really, like, passion. taking over, bro. And it's just, like, damn, the bro. Like, stage, like, I had to make a few decisions. Like, I was, I was too far up to just fall back again. To just fall, so yeah. So at that point, you now, like, I have to, this is what I'm doing for the next 10 years. Mm-hmm. So it's like, once you make that decision, why the fuck would you play with that time? 
Right. Not, you know, sleeping all extra long and shit. Right. I was sleeping like 13. Now, God, I was, yeah. okay, I got enough energy now. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. yeah, thank you, Lord. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I got enough energy. <laughs> I got enough energy. Don't play any, any spiritual religion. Right, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's real. It's how, real. How early you be waking up now? Shit, about 11. 11. About 11. 10, what time do you usually go to sleep? Yeah. It's decent yeah. time if you count it. Yeah, yeah. Because I, I go to sleep to, early. Three to four in the morning to. I usually go to sleep night. about 9, 10. But I be up at like 7, 7 okay. 30. Oh, my nigga uh, got a schedule. Yeah. Mental health going good. Type shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no it can sleep. always be we'll better help you out a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, nigga. Hey, niggas be losing sleep, wonder why the fuck they going crazy. Shit, they got to sleep right, bro. They got to sleep right. Every street niggas be having mental health probably. Uh, we realize they ain't got no motherfucking schedule. Yeah, they pop a bean and doing other shit. Nigga, get a schedule. Yeah. Because when this shit start counting, nigga, your ass going to be like, damn, I ain't yeah. got to figure it out. Nah, fuck for that sure, shit. For sure. That's another thing. Like, a nigga, nigga, nigga is really on some, like, damn, niggas do be just fucking, like, feeding into that glorifying and shit that you don't want niggas to get into. So now, like, I'm at a point to where I'm like, I'm trying to talk about it in a different way. Because yeah. I'm not really trying to, I'm not trying to glorify no bullshit. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I'm really, deep down, I'm trying to be. You know, just who I am. I don't yeah. give a fuck about what everybody rapping about. I'm trying to just figure out more stuff. So, so I'm in. The, you know, sometimes you gotta shoot the gun. That's yeah. what I call it. Like when you're in the studio, just you record on as many beats as you can until the engine start turning. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like that's yeah. how my process go. And yeah. I fell back for like a month, maybe in recording. That's yeah. a long time for me because I yeah. record a lot. Like yeah. I record a lot. Like it how helps. With, it helps with my personality and some more shit. Yeah. To be yeah. honest, Make probably me, like venting and shit too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's like getting on the mic and just now. Yeah. And now it's becoming more personal to me. Like yeah. I don't really like pe- when people hear certain shit that ain't done yet. Like mm-hmm. it's becoming way more personal. So mm-hmm. I'm like, all right, I'm tapping in. Yeah, like I, I just know that. what it is. You know what right. I'm saying? Like I don't want to just. Mm-mm. Just be doing no bullshit. Fuck no, shit. bro. I know how much influence I can have if I do this shit the right way. Mm-hmm. For real. Like, mm-hmm. if I just talk about what the fuck I'm naturally going through, all this shit, if I could just figure out exactly how to do it, that's, that'd, be the pro- that'd be the process a lot of people like. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I'm me, I'm not a big fan of capping. I'm a, like, I'm a, shit I talk about my raps is, you know, majority true. Like, yeah. I might, you know, Personificate or you know some. You gotta do a little, you know what I'm saying. I mean, you gotta you gotta play the the game. Literary terms, yeah, Yeah. Yeah. literary terms and shit. I'm not bad to just do what all these other niggas doing. You know, these niggas going. Rapping for real, for real, for real, and then yeah. these niggas listen to their shit, and it's for real, for real, for real what they did, and the police for real, for real at your fucking front <laughs> door, and you for real, for real got to get loose. So fuck that, and these niggas stupid than a motherfucker. <laughs> I'm like, I'm just tired of the bullshit. I'm tired I mean, of seeing this shit. I mean. So I'm like, fuck, I can't be oh, following shit. it. Like niggas just gonna have to notice I'm different. I'm yeah, like, I'm, I'm my mama. <laughs> I'm not with the ignorant shit. You can't be, nigga, bro. This shit can't too be. strategic, nigga. This is chess, be, yeah. not checkers. And you know, a lot of people they 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 get caught up in that shit, bro. They get so caught up in that shit of trying to play that part, shit, bro. I did it. I didn't. Everybody done did it. Everybody done did it, bro. That everybody done did it. But some people they don't never learn from it. You know what I'm saying? So like, it's good to hear that. You know what I'm saying? Like you've learned from that. You know what I'm saying? And because I've been there too, bro. You know what I'm saying? Just I still now. go through that. You know what I'm saying? Just now, though, I still bro. go through that sometimes where I've realized like, bro. Like, just chill you know what i'm saying like that's not you you know what i'm saying like just do you be you and everything's gonna be all right uh-huh. you know what i'm saying in the, in the last two months nigga that's the, the whole yeah. shit i read my last Facts. two months that's what i was Facts. boom now i'm over here like yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. let's go nigga, nigga can do it yeah <laughs> this is good you know nigga had to go nigga had to go through, go through that shit realize yeah. what the bullshit was and what it wasn't where you really trying to go right so i noticed also like you do like you got some pretty crazy visuals with your like music and stuff, right? Mm-hmm. With like the music videos and stuff. And st- do you? Th- how important do you think that like music videos and vu- visuals are like in the music? You know what I'm saying? Because uh, a lot of very, times, that's me, a very bro, like, important aspect of you said music videos. Yeah, like nigga, that like shit visual- gotta. Li- it need to look like a movie. It need to be exactly what you see in your head type shit. Yes, like, for real. I yeah. love when I get that. Like, oh, this is how I seen it in my head. Like, it'd be a lot of times where like I shoot it too high in my head. And I'm, Looking at the shit, I'm like, what the yeah. fuck is this? Because like, I'll look at, like, sometimes I'll listen to a song, bro, and a song won't hit the same until I see that video. And right. then once I see that video, I'm like, oh, shit, like, this is really real. Like, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? This feels so much more real, you know what I mean? I'm right. way more connected to this now than what I was before. Oh, me? Way more connected. That's a realization. Yeah. That's the epiphany type Do you, um, like... Do you are you with the label right now or like I'm independent? So like a lot of those videos, do you like do you have to pay out of pocket for that and shit too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How much does something like that cost, bro? Like a music video, bro. Like because yeah, I know yeah, yeah. I'm gonna put it like this: it 
cost anywhere from five hundred to fifteen hundred. Yeah. And then, you know, if you really on your shit and you gotta know what come behind that. And yeah. so I'm not gonna just and put the sauce out there like that. Niggas right. gonna have to get that shit in blood. <laughs> And I think, like, a lot of times that's just for, like, probably just the videographer. Like, I mean, if you go to Miami and shoot a music video, like, you got to pay for the trip to Miami. You got to pay for the music video, yeah. the clothes, you know what I'm saying? Hey, like, nigga, nah, I'm pulling up in my own shit. I, hey, I done <laughs> seen niggas. That would fuck me up when I was at a major label and I seen some shit. Man, they are like, like, I don't know why they think about it. It's normal, like, I guess in Hollywood, but, like, they are like, you know, give the artist clothes and then take them back, you know, and then like, you know what I'm saying? And then be yeah. like, oh yeah, you can have this out of that. Well, you know what I'm saying? It's just different shit that they do that, that I'm that I, nah, right. that I didn't like expect. Like it's just it's just some shit like Yeah, yeah. it's some shit. Yeah. It's some shit. I don't know. I just wasn't thinking like that. I'll pull up in my motherfucking clothes, ready to shoot the goddamn video <laughs> with another outfit in the back. Fuck you talking about? <laughs> nigga, designer. Hey, yeah. nigga, keep that shit. I don't need no motherfucking stylish, nigga. Yeah. Hey, yeah. for real. Yeah. And I ain't even trying to shit. I just know I dress good enough for your motherfucking ass to pick that camera up and start recording my black ass. Right. I don't need nobody to go to the store and give me mo- no motherfucking outfit. Yeah. Right. Nah, right. nigga, I'm going to put this shit on. Wear this shit like a motherfucking. Give a goddamn bitch this hands. Right. I'm hands put it on. on. Yeah, you look good. Hands, you be all right. Come yeah. on, man. The way I put that <laughs> shit on, I have a motherfucking look uh, <laughs> Now, with also, like, with the, you doing those and stuff, like, not only the money it takes, but, like, the time that it takes to shoot a two to three minute view- video, bro. Right. Like, shit, people man. only see two and a half minutes TD's of video. Work. And they think that it's gonna be quick, you know what I'm saying? No, like you you bro, put that shit together like that. Nah, thirty minutes to an hour. Thirty minutes to an minutes. hour. Just you just put it out. Little yeah, shit. You good. Like, even just doing like a fucking trailer, nigga. Yeah. You, you gonna take at least 10, 20 minutes, nigga. That saying. shit takes a and long time. And if you time. really precise, like you gonna get a whole bunch of different ones clipped from cover. You know what I'm saying? Right. It's take a long, yeah, ass long ass time, time. bro. That's and why people, niggas ain't getting trailers. They getting them goddamn eye movies with the pictures. Just sit right there. <laughs> and that's why, like, people, I think that throws a lot of people off bro they get into touch shit like this bro either whether it be rapping whether it be podcasting or vlogging whatever it is you know what i'm saying and they think that like oh it's just gonna be quick you know what i'm saying i can put this video together quick they don't understand the process especially like whenever you have to do everything yourself type shit you know right. what i mean like you don't have like a, a big major label time. behind you type shit so you yeah. got to put in the word. You got to schedule the shit. You got to mm-hmm. reach out to the people. Right. You got to fucking set it up. Mm-hmm. You got to show up on time. Yeah. You got to fucking bring the shit. Everything you got to do the shit. Yeah, independent is a real. You if you ain't no fucking worker, don't think you yeah. can go to independent route. If you a nigga that work, yeah. you can go to independent route. If you're not so, a nigga that work, go go major label route quick. Is that the goal though? Eventually, is to to get that, that should be everybody goal. If you yeah. a businessman, shit. Yeah. I mean, I'm only gonna get my mind only gonna grow. You understand? That's yeah. that's a big level game. That's a level a game. A grown man. Game. Yeah. So it's like shit, hell yeah, what you mean? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm with all of that. But yeah. you know, I'm not gonna prematurely do no shit like that. Like if right. I know I'm not ready to take on them finances and I'm still living like a nigga and I'm supposed to be living like a nigga in Beverly Hills, like yeah. you know what I'm saying? These people have budgets, you know, yeah. accountants, you know, yeah. assets they're investing in, multiple businesses and like seven, eight streams of passive yeah. or you know, uh residual income going on these motherfuckers got streams of income all the time and that's the thing that too like a lot of people they, they don't want to they 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 don't want to be for real and be like oh i don't want to you know i could do it all by myself but yeah. like but <laughs> realistically though bro <laughs> like funny, think of like young. the biggest independent artist you know what i'm saying like tech nine you know what i'm saying one of the biggest independent ev- artist ever type shit on like me, me. fucking uh, joiner lucas you know what i'm saying yeah, biggest but none of those names are nowhere near as big as future Facts. drake Facts. Why be? But niggas know yeah. about them like that. But they, they just like a little tiny, like little bit. I, I, I fuck with the niggas. You know, the niggas like let's do a song. Come on, nigga. Come on, let's you know do it for sure. Let, let's do it for sure. For sure. You, you still a legend in your way, which I'm okay yeah. with that type of right, shit. Right, right. As long as I get my motherfucking piece of the motherfucking pie. Yeah, yeah. yeah like I'm not. I mean, but honestly, like I don't know. I like if I, I I'm seeing hundreds, hundreds of uh, hundreds of M's. Yeah. To do that shit, you gotta go up there and deal with them people, and that's fuck. Yeah, it's, you can you can be unrealistic all you want, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah I'm okay with it, but like how I really want to provide and do what I do, I gotta Next change shit. change enough and be yeah. seasoned enough to do it like this. Yeah, and yeah, it's just what it is, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and then also on the same side of that too, especially like with you being somebody that has came from like a rougher background and stuff, fuck yeah. niggas don't want to fucking they don't want it. Oh, you Uncle Tom ass nigga, like I wish the nigga bro, fucking would, bro. Like nigga, you got to play the game out here, bro. Like you can call me an Uncle Tom as you want, but like at the end of the day, like I'm a you got to get the money from the people that got the money, right? 
right. You gotta you get the right. people from the money that you got. You know what's money. crazy? It's it us, like, you know, motherfuckers, the niggas, like, you know, you know, the street niggas, it took, hey, them niggas, uh, they, they know me. They respect me in my, my lane. Like, I got my lane. They know, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna get that motherfucking paper first. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Hey, check this out. You want some paper? Yeah. <laughs> Have your people call my people. <laughs> We'll do lunch, <laughs> nigga. With the rich people be saying <laughs> shit, man. for real. Uh-huh. So I also seen like in one of your uh, recent interviews that you was doing where you said that you had went to uh, Capitol Records. And, Ooh, and that was the up. worst. I fucked. Up. fucked up. Oh, what happened, bro? What happened, bro? I, I never told know, bro. this fucking I know, story. Bro. I, I never said that, this. bro. Okay. Let's hear the story, okay, bro. Okay, all right. So I go to L.A., bro. Yeah. Uh. You want another shot before you tell the story, bro? Fuck it, bro. Yeah, I low-key got to sure. pee, but I'm going to hold that shit. Up. If you want to go, bro, you can go. Bro, I got to pee. Like a yeah, motherfucker. go ahead, bro. Go ahead. Bro, I got to pee. I'll do a little, uh, I can do a little fucking snippet or something yeah. while you go. Yeah. You want to cut that out real quick? Right there, through those doors. Yeah. Yo, while my boy Juke21K is in the bathroom, I hope you guys are enjoying this pie today. We hope you guys have uh, been watching and everything and enjoying it. Make sure you guys leave a comment below. Let us know how you're feeling. Make sure you guys also go check that link in the description. We got we now have the Everybody Hates Jabber supporter link down in the description below. So if you guys want to become a monthly supporter and get a shout out in the next video, make sure that you go down there right now, hit that Buzzsprout link, and hit that fucking tip option i don't know what it says it's like three five eight or ten dollars or some shit like that it doesn't matter what you do you don't have to tip if you don't want to tip just go ahead and share it on the social media if you guys watch this we appreciate all the love we appreciate all the support make sure that you guys tune in tap in share the the video and uh subscribe yeah so now we're just gonna wait yeah let's uh that's a big <laughs> motherfucker right there is it too big bro I'm, you can, I'm gonna take a little bit i was about to say you can fucking yeah, pour some of this hey, in nigga, nigga, get a little bit too much liquor <laughs> get, get a little bit too much liquor <laughs> you don't know what's gonna happen nigga gotta be respectful yeah. you know yeah. <laughs> that's vicious bro that shit's good though bro i like i like hard whiskey bro that shit that hits you hard bro that shit makes your face turn nasty bro <laughs> Cause it's nasty and it's strong, but it's still good. I don't know. I like it. Shit. <laughs> oh, <no>. Shit. <laughs> Shit. Oh fuck. Shit. <laughs> fuck. Shit. No, no more for me. No more locked doors. <laughs> well, gracias. No more locked doors. No more. Uh uh-uh. uh. Oh fuck. Shit. I don't even know what the fucking lid is, but. Fuck. 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 She got to drive home. Fuck, huh? man. <laughs> Swerving. <laughs> Liquor. Oh, <laughs> man. All right, man. Back to this Capitol Records, bro. Capitol okay, Records. Okay, 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 what, okay. Yeah, let's Okay, let's so look, 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 what happened. So I went to Atlantic, had success, got plugged in. You know, they gave yeah. me the game in Atlanta, da, 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 fast forward. Went back to just kind of see, like, you know, if, you know, somebody there. So I, I, boom, went to the one. She was a younger woman. But uh, I went up there, and the actual song that I was supposed to play, I didn't actually – me and my manager fucked up. We didn't put it on the flash drive. Uh, so we had backup songs on there, and yeah. we had to go with a backup. And my backup was all reliable. And then me and bro went back to the hover and was like, we're going to do this one. The song wasn't mastered or nothing, nigga. I'm uh, talking about I almost, almost called her to be where, excuse me. <laughs> the, the girl listened to the song, and nigga, she was like, if you're going to bring your song to a major label, you should probably no. have it mastered. Like oh, it was damn. horrible, nigga. I got a, I scored a thirty one out of fifty. It was horrible. Damn. But like I didn't even know the lyrics either. She's like, You should probably know the lyrics. Like I was like, Damn, nigga. She called the nigga just, out. Like, I was nervous, trying to play it off. Unprepared? <laughs> nervous. Like, you... Nervous, unprepared. <laughs> <laughs> Dumb as fuck. Hot in the bitch. <laughs> fuck it, nigga. Oh god. Everything. <laughs> everything, nigga. Everything went wrong. Oh, nigga, me fuck. and my motherfucking bro was so sad. Nigga, we went back to the Airbnb. We didn't t- we didn't say a word to each other. We both went straight to bed. We got up and we got right on the plane and flew right back to Dallas. And then like thirty days. Damn. We went back. Yeah. And that's whenever everything started changing. Yeah. Yeah. I was so determined. 
Damn, that is Fuck crazy, me up. Bro. She kept it too real. Yeah, and she, the same DJ that was there when we didn't have a song, when we went to Atlantic, he was there in the room whenever I showed the other A&R my yeah, shit. Yeah, and he was like, it. "I remember y'all niggas." Yeah. <laughs> I was like, "Yeah, nigga, yeah, we back, nigga. This the song, hey, right? I did the same so- song I didn't do." Yeah. Yeah. Did the same song I was supposed to do. Did yeah. the same song. He was like, "This the song you didn't you didn't get to play." He was like, "After I got done, like, damn, bro, I hate yeah. that you didn't get to play that that day, bro." Yeah. He's like, "Fuck." Damn. But yeah, I got the dude number, everything. Call, got called to Lenny Ricketts the next day, so I was like, "But it probably taught you so many to lessons." There. You know what I'm saying? Like, just about being prepared. Hell you know yeah, saying? nigga. And about, it, yeah. As an artist, you don't never want to feel that feeling because yeah. any average motherfucker would have quit. After yeah. that, would have quit. They would have oh, fucking yeah. quit. Yeah, Swear to God, they would have quit. Yeah. How bad that shit feel? Like me and my brother didn't even say nothing to each other, nigga. That's my yeah, nigga. I can only me and him, like when it wasn't that we was mad, we was both just that amount of disappointed. Is this like your dream? You know what I'm saying? On the set, nigga. I flew to you Los Angeles, front, California nigga, for this LA, shit, nigga. nigga. Like what? Say, what nigga? the fuck is you doing, nigga? Be prepared, nigga. nigga be proper prepared. <laughs> proper be prepared. preparation prevents poor performance. There you go. The fuck? I cannot say that. Be prepared, bro. Seriously, man. Like fuck. <laughs> Never want to feel that again. That shit was that shit was discouraging, nigga. I was like, "Fuck, yo!" Oh, but like, it got me so much better. Yeah. Like, I got so much better from that shit. So yeah. I was like, yeah. "Yes, yeah." Because it, like, I'm like a more of a my motivation be like feeling like a nigga doubt me. I'm yeah. like, "Oh yeah, bet. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah. show your motherfucking ass. Like, yeah. this is naturally like my part. Like my the, element the, right here, nigga. Right. I'm gonna prove you wrong, ass right. nigga. Right. For real. So. I seen somewhere also, or like on your YouTube bio, and you said it earlier too, where you like had a background in stand up. Like, and on me, obviously, you, you funny as fuck, bro. My first name like. was Jukum the Jester. <laughs> Jukum Just, the Jester. <laughs> yeah, bro. I got a MySpace page and everything. Really? Uh-huh. Jukum the Jester. Uh huh. I had photo That's shoots, good. all that shit. I was in Escalade, age 19. Post the Escalades on foes, young nigga jumping out the back in a suit and tie. Fuck you, mean? Yeah. Like, yeah, so you would be like I doing was, stand up comedy and shit. Comedy shows, nigga. I was selling out the YMCA, nigga. And yes, I just one yo. day they asked me to perform for some troops, and nigga, the nervousness hit. And I looked at my mom and I said, I don't want to do it anymore. And my mama just knew me, so she yeah. like, all right, I'm not making you do it. She called yeah. my CEO, my manager, my actual coach. He was my he turned into my CEO and yeah. my mentor. Yeah. Long live Valley Bell. That's yeah. you know that's him. You know he had a lot to do with my name. He named me that. You know, okay. Juke. So like, yeah. yeah, it all kind of go hand in hand if you really yeah. Think shit. Bro, what was that like though? Like being up on there and telling jokes and shit. Bro? It was like, uh, it was motivating for sure. Like yeah. looking at people's faces. Like sometimes you will forget the fucking joke because you 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 will look at somebody's <laughs> face how drew in they is, nigga. Then you be like, damn, this nigga really paying attention. You like, uh. <laughs> Nigga, understand? I'm like 11, 12, nigga. So, so I, my attention span was fucked up. I was like, oh, look at a nigga in the crowd, forget the fuck. But it was like, you know, comedy, the art, of it, the part of the art of it is being a natural improv motherfucker that can yeah. just pick up the mic and just be funny. Just go, yeah. Those are the best comedians. Facts. The ones that be writing their shit, memorizing it, that shit weak. It really like, don't be real that comedian funny, is bro. a nigga who don't <clears throat> even be trying to be funny and be funny. Yeah, yeah. And got that delivery. Like you gotta have that punch, that yeah, delivery. You know what I'm saying? I know the art of that shit. Too, that so like delivery. I could do it. Like if I, if you know what I'm saying, if I had to go playing beats, oh hell yeah, I go straight to comedy. But like, yeah. nigga, this was was yeah. what feel like is right more you know for you. Yeah. But would it you, go hand in hand though. It really does. You could add the comedy yeah. into the music. Yeah. And be a funny. But would you say that? Would it be harder to be like? A comedian that's a rapper, or what do you think it'd be harder to be a rapper that's a comedian? If you a rapper, you can do anything you motherfucking want. Yeah, yeah what I noticed. If yeah. you a good, successful music maker, you can do whatever the fuck you want to do. Yeah, you could play in movies. Yeah, you can go do stand up. You can go do whatever they're gonna fuck anything. with you because your music is Because your music good. You're yeah. making good music. You're yeah. resonating with it. You're yeah, fucking getting a few like this is getting good type you shit. You don't meet no comedian like com- com- <laughs> if Kevin Hart start rapping, you wouldn't know what the fuck to think. You gonna be like, bro, what the fuck is bro? bro? <laughs> Little chocolate drop. Yeah, <laughs> he just funny as him. Like, you can't be no comedian and just you, yeah. I'm gonna go rap. Nah, you rap, you can do whatever the fuck. You can do that, bro. Yeah, cause the nigga fuck around and be like, this nigga funny. Yeah, like, I, f- fuck it. If, if that route worked for me, motherfucker, you best believe it. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, hell yeah. What's gonna bring them motherfucking bucks? Whatever the fuck to feed my family. Damn. Straight up. That is so crazy, bro. I used to do a lot of like plays and stuff too, like when I was a kid, oh, a bunch of plays. I oh, would always, me too. I remember one year we did a church play, and I was like, uh, <laughs> "It was." Hey, <laughs> 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 ah, funny as hell, bro. This shit was, bro. This shit was the funniest <laughs> shit ever, bro. It was like a reunion play. 
the lady that used to do the church plays, bro, she used to do some of the best plays I've ever done, bro. They were so much fun. And she would do them every year. She did them for, like, years, bro, 20, 30 years, right? So one year, I'm like, this is when I'm, like, 10 years old. She did a reunion play. So she brought back a bunch of the kids that were in the plays 15 years ago, like, including her kids and Damn. shit. That were like, they're, like, 30 years old now, right? <laughs> so she brings all <laughs> them back, bro. Like, And it's like a reunion. Somebody had died. And so, like, all the family's coming back for the, for the funeral, you know what Damn. I mean? Like, that's, like, the base play, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, and I'm, like, the uncle. I'm, like, the only kid that gets casted with all these adults. And I'm, like, the young uncle that, like, became rich or whatever. Like, so now, like, I'm, like, the rich uncle that, like, all he cares about is money and stuff. But I had so much fun doing Damn. that play, bro. Because, like, th- I came in, like, the, my introduction, like, I came in and I like we had like doors like that almost to the church, but they swung open. You know right. what I mean? So like they started that song that money, 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 money. Yeah, you come in money, and I just come busting in the door. I had these big old money glasses in. I'm like strutting down the hallway, turning around and shit, bro. Everybody like the church is going crazy, bro. <laughs> and I'm just on there like, bro, eating it, up, bro. <laughs> like oh, I'm feeling this shit, bro. Like. That hey, shit used to be so fun, hey, bro. Hey, let's not let's not ignore the fact that you kind of hit that note right there, though, bro. Like, nigga, nah, nigga, bro, you I, ain't gonna get by. You be singing this shit, nigga. Hey, bro, I sing like a motherfucker. Okay, I sing every goddamn yeah, day. I, I just got that ear. Sing. I just yeah, I heard sing. that, nigga. You tried to slide it by. <laughs> Money. Yeah, nigga. <laughs> nah. My shit scratchy. Your shit was smooth, nigga. Oh no. Nah. I'm like, I didn't even try to have a sing off on this motherfucker. I used to Fuck no. no. Don't do me like that, bro, because you'll get me. I swear, bro. Yeah, I no, swear. Man, I'm a little rusty right we now. Used to, I used to sing in the church choir, though. Yeah, I was in the church choir. We had like a little trio. Like it was me and, and then this uh, so my other family. Was, so my nigga got that soulful background. Type shit. Bro. Same, same. I hate it. Sometimes I'll be in the middle of it. just a, just a, 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 a motherfucking song, nigga, and a just song, get bro. the soul in me. Have to hit the note. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Big old, this is some <laughs> bullshit. No. Hey, nigga, hey, for real, <laughs> nigga, just I gotta get it out sometimes, and it just, you know, part of artistry, you know, that, that that's part yeah. of just, you know, expressing yourself, nigga. Yeah. If you feel like hitting that motherfucking note like a goddamn weirdo, <laughs> then do that shit, bro. Just do that, hey, do that shit, the, bro. The you gotta like express you to yourself. Always like, tell us, dude. And that's the only reason that I, that's the only reason that I like, I'm starting to get more like. Protective over, over, protective over what I'm recording now, cause yeah. I'm like, I want to get that weirdness out, like in my privacy, like, yeah. you know, I like, I want a little seclusion with that shit, yeah. like, so yeah. it kind of hold me back if more people like, you know what I'm saying? But yeah. that's what I'm noticing about myself, you know, like when I'm by myself and like can't nobody see this or hear this weird shit, I'm finna let come out my yeah. come out of my body, then I, I'm the most creative, you know what yeah. I'm saying? There ain't no limits. That's you know? when you're the most yeah. authentic, yeah. yeah whenever you know it's not saying? like playing type shit yeah, like you're like, just like being yourself type yeah shit. and it, like yeah. it's a new process for me so like yeah. i'm like i don't want to like see this with somebody i want to see it my myself first and then let people see that yeah. shit. you yeah. know what i'm saying because i'm like i'm just really trying this shit that i'm feeling like you know and yeah. eventually it's gonna become more of a on me you know what I'm on me what's the biggest difference do you think between like rap and comedy though uh i would say fucking I mean, they both got crowds. Shit, one, I mean, one you listen to music, one you listen to a joke. Yeah, but you gonna be laugh like you entertain both ways. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. You gonna be laughing like a motherfucker, like laughing good for the heart, and good for the spirit and soul. Yeah. Obviously, you know, but fuck, you ever see a nigga that laugh all the time, like just going on, nigga? <laughs> nah, that nigga got that serotonin. Or you got like something that. in that. <laughs> you got something. Shit. Know, that nigga got something. <laughs> Something, something in his system. Right. I ain't been talking to Mike about five minutes, nigga. I just forgot this motherfucker was nah, right here. I can hear you. Uh, yeah, you still look good. Okay, yeah. okay. I don't got no headphones, do I? I just got a mic, right? Yeah. Cool, cool, mic. cool. I'm good. Did it fall over? What? Is it falling over? Oh, no, it's good. Yeah, it's good. It's... it's it is kind of falling over, nigga. I knew I wasn't tripping. <laughs> your shit raggedy, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's your shit raggedy. <laughs> oh, fuck, Rich. Here it go. It's, it's <laughs> stiff in the motherfucking now. <laughs> no, bro, nah, can't. sometimes when you screw them too tight, they short out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, That's what happened to me. The, uh, it's just the thing needs to be scooted back. No, nah, it's, good. it's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's a good position now. There you go. There you go. There you can, go. That bar moves, too. So move that bar out. Yeah. 
There you go. There you go. It wasn't cocked like that a while ago. Now it real cocked. Yeah. Oh, shit. See, See that what can't happen. Pulling it too hard. See, nah, that went. See, nah, nah. That, my shit ain't ready. You fucking my shit up. That's what happened. You fucking my nah, shit up. Bro. Nah, bro. Nah, Z. Nah, look, 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 look. Look, he put the table against. He put the table against that motherfucker. So I don't tip over. And nigga think he's slick. <laughs> Hey, I seen you, bro. I seen you, bro. Next question. Next question right? All right, bro. So back to something a little bit more serious, right? Right. right so right. the most, the, the thing that stood out to me the most, right, about you, and when I like looked at you, you know, what I'm saying, did my research, was born without a voice. That part that shit stood out the, the most to me, bro. You were actually born without a voice, right? Oh God. So what was like? Explain that, like. Uh. So. I can't remember, like, it's a clinical name for the condition, but, uh-huh. like, basically, I had growths growing on my vocal cords. Yeah. Like, just, like, something about some nodules. I don't fucking know, bro. Like, yeah. I'm not going to act like a medical expert. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But it was some shit, like, that was serious. Yeah. And then, like, you know, I was born like that, though. So, mm-hmm. they didn't see nothing wrong with it. And then, yeah. like, boom, I was, like, maybe, like, four or five, mm-hmm. like, Ba- basically around when my memory started when mm-hmm. i started getting these surgery okay but uh one day i was just like oh, i can't breathe yeah. yeah boom uh my mama took me to ear nose and throat doctor they put this like fucking tube down my nose boom fast forward i'm in emergency surgery get done with it nigga got a voice it was so crazy because so people like used to make that, fun of me be like yeah. i can't hear you you know what yeah. i'm saying and then boom five years later nigga, god just gave me a voice so it was like, like you could yeah. talk but like it just it was uh, like, sounded like this. Uh, sounded like that. I, okay. My, my, my vocal cords didn't actually vibrate. Okay. So I talked like this. Damn. The whole time. Damn, bro. That would suck, wouldn't it? Just, that would suck, bro. That Nobody would suck. Nobody can hear you crying. Yeah. It's just quiet. Damn. Nobody can hear you. Your mama wouldn't hear you crying if you're a baby or nothing. Think about That's it. A baby that you can't hear crying because he doesn't have Bro, you're about to make me cry, bro. What the fuck, nah, bro? Don't cry, cry, bro. <laughs> I'm about to cry. <laughs> I was say, what the fuck, bro? <laughs> that is sad, though. That is sad, <laughs> though. No, that's dangerous. But that's it's dangerous. a fucking great, st- like, that's what makes the story more fucking, you know what I'm saying? Like More inspirational. Bro, it's bro. just more like, it just hits a little bro. bit deeper, bro. It's triumphs. Like, yeah, perseverance. Bro. A tale about perseverance nah, and a nigga bro. making it. Type shit, though. Nigga, real. type you shit. I like, don't meet you. And that shit is cool. Like, d- does that kind of give you more inspiration and more like yeah, power yeah. to keep going? Like, just thinking Fuck about yeah. how far you came. Like, Hell yes, it's I almost think like about God that gave you this. You Hell yes, so I think like, about that shit daily. Just like yeah. how you said it, God gave me. I yeah. think about that shit daily, just like that, nigga. Yeah. I yeah. swear to fucking God, I yeah. think about it daily, just yeah. like that. Like yeah. that's that's what it is. That's right. what it is to me. Yeah. Swear to God, I'm like man. Thankful. Could, I'm very thankful. Very thankful. Hell yeah, nigga. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I'm sure it's probably something like that you almost kind of like sometimes hate talking about but you also like you just you got to remember to just be thankful for you know what i mean yeah, type shit yeah, because yeah. it's it's something that like whenever it's like medical conditions bro like you don't know you know what i'm saying like you don't know what the shit is you don't all you know is just some shit that's some just shit wrong happened. with you you yeah. know what i mean like uh-huh. i remember for a, a while there i had like a growth on my neck here bro and it was it was ugly. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> that, bro. That. That's a nigga. Yes, bro. Literally, it was so bad, right? I remember one time, I used to go to Job Corps, right? And I was like. Job Corps sounded like a nightmare to me, nigga. Like, I'm, really I'm not going to clock in and be in jail just to go to a damn job. <laughs> the fuck? Shit, that's bro. what it sounded like. Job Corps. It wasn't all that bad, though. But anyways, okay. so I was a snack man, bro. I used to have all the snacks, bro. I would just sell snacks, you know what I'm saying? Because right. niggas didn't have snacks, so. I remember one day I'm going to the cafeteria to go get dinner and these two girls were walking and they were like, Hey, do y'all know where that dude in uh, Africa? So in, in this job corps that I was at all the fucking dorms, they were named after countries or cities or something like that. So we were like the advanced training program. Africa. We were in Africa. Bro, <laughs> they, they come on with Africa, that shit, bro. bro. They out of line. Damn. Bro, that one like dude the, from Africa. Dude, that one. You had to explain it so it didn't sound so fucked up. So yeah. Because yeah. that's how it was. Because it was like there was Africa, Tejas, a bunch of other fucking countries. So she said, what? So she goes, hey, do y'all know uh, where that dude <laughs> in Africa with the snacks is? <laughs> and then the, uh, somebody else said, oh, you you talking about the dude with the lump? <laughs> <laughs> Nigga. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, 
friends <laughs> like that. Bro, I'm literally I literally walking by them. Nigga bro. overcame this I shit. I'm walking by them and I didn't say shit. Bro, I kept going, bro, because I'm like, I'm the nigga with the love, nigga. That's yeah. Me. I nigga overcame <laughs> that. My nigga overcame that shit, but you had that love for your shit. <laughs> that shit was ugly, nigga. Ah, <laughs> nigga said, ew. Nigga, literally, bro. Man, that's fucked. You kept the pushing. Yeah, I kept the pushing, yeah, bro. My nigga, you, real bro. nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, that's me. Scoot off. <laughs> Y'all want some snacks? Scoot off. <laughs> Scoot <laughs> off. Oh that nigga God. knew how to say your push off game was mean, <laughs> brother. <laughs> that going, shit was bro. mean, but <laughs> just kept going. Yeah, that shit was mean. Anyway, bro, like people would ask me like what was wrong with I don't fucking know, bro. Like, I don't know, bro. <laughs> this is something there. This is just something there, bro. The shit just magically went away, bro. You, you missed that motherfucker. <laughs> Hell no, bro. <laughs> my nigga overcame that shit. His triumphs, oh perseverance, God, brother. Bro. I'm perseverance. fucking dead, bro. You overcame really that shit, bro. Dead. That's some serious shit, though. That's some that shit traumatizing was. shit. It really to was, do with bro. the lump. <laughs> that's, that's traumatizing. <laughs> I'll be deal. <laughs> Hey, nigga, the dude with no voice was enough. You can't hear him. Look at him. He, 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 he. You can't do this. La, 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 la. It's just the same thing. Oh, my gosh. Bro, same should, thing, bro. You should be a comedian, too. For real, bro. the same Got thing, to, bro. bro. It's the same. You had to overcome that. That was an insecurity, and you know oh it. Oh, my God. You bro. know it, nigga. You be like, what up with that motherfucker? <laughs> you know that shit, don't you? Bro, I haven't laughed this much on the pot ever, bro. I'm telling you, bro. Oh, my gosh, bro. If I'm the cameras you. can zoom in right now, bro, you're just going to see my shit wet as fuck, bro. I'm fucking crying. Ah, <laughs> nigga, all up in the nigga eyeball and shit. <laughs> yeah, doom, doom. Oh, doom, doom, doom. That shit is funny, bro. Yeah, is oh, hilarious. man. Anyways, bro, fuck, man. So, <laughs> <laughs> for real, bro, triumphs, perseverance, brother. Oh, <laughs> Let me get it together. All right, man. <laughs> so, <laughs> 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 okay, okay, okay. Oh my god! All right, baby, baby. All right, all so, right, so, so with the, 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 having all those surgeries, and stuff, <laughs> you said that, <laughs> bro. Stop. Now it's you, bro. See, I'm trying I'm to get done, it I'm done. I'm done. I swear. All right, all right, all right. All right, all right. All right we we good for so. some. For so we ready. <laughs> All right. So <laughs> you said that like you had trouble still. Like, <laughs> bro, no, bro. See. Okay, bro. All right, for real, for real. Oh for my real. gosh, bro. For real. All right, a bit, a bit. Just nigga, just All right. Right. laughing All about right. my lung, man. Bro, that that up, bro. that's a crazy story. I would have <laughs> never thought to associate you with a lung, bro. Anybody that knows Fuck. me from my job court days, bro, if they watch oh. this pod, they're gonna die laughing. They're gonna say, they know "Oh, he's lump, going bro. far. That's dude from job court hey, no lump, with the snakes. Bro. No lump. No bro. lump. They motherfuckers I'm lumpless now, nigga. <laughs> Change that shit to podcast and they lumpless. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we know that motherfucker. Man, that oh shit. Hey, I'm God, glad bro. for you, for real, fool. That shit. Yeah. That, that's what's up, nigga. That's for real. Shit. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Know you buy that? Like, damn, how big was the motherfucker? Bro, like, the, the shit was big, bro. If I still had the lump, bro, I wouldn't be sitting here with you. You got man. a picture of it? I don't, bro. Cause what I would do, bro, is like every picture, I would take it from this side. The lump was on this side. Oh, right? you smart. So I would, I would take the picture from that side. Bro, that's some real shit you know to know overcome, mean? bro. Because I didn't want the lump, bro. I didn't want bro, people to see the lump, bro. bro I'm telling you, like, you got to oh. think about it. If you had a lump, bro, I had, like, all right, so look, I had get, I got a, I got some stitches in my back when I was, like, 11, 12. Yeah. I had get, like, you know, it's, it's a little situation. Yeah. And so, for a long time, bro, I thought that shit was, like, so ugly. So, like, yeah. I wouldn't, like, take my shirt off or nothing. Yeah. Like, I was just, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I was just lay my shirt on and like wear a shirt to cover it up Type and then shit. like when i just got older, i was like nigga fuck, fuck niggas this yeah. a fucking war wound, yeah, war wound you, go, I mean. you know what i'm saying like nigga <laughs> yeah. I, I look harder than your nigga I mean. you know what i'm saying <laughs> like i look harder than your homeboy you know yeah. what i'm saying like nigga it's a war wound at the end of yeah. the day it's like damn nigga was actually like self-conscious about that yeah shit. i wouldn't say like insecure i was just like self-conscious like what if they like look at it right right it, it was a situation to overcome yeah you, sometimes you just gotta overcome. I think God sometimes bro. places that shit exactly for that reason. Yeah, bro. and if you can, if you, go, if you go to Him just, at that time, you gonna have yeah. the best. It's gonna turn out the best way. Yeah. If you yeah. go to Him when the best shit happens, it's gonna it's gonna turn out the best way. Like it's gonna turn out the best way. Don't depend on yeah. a person. No nothing. Yeah. Spirit. <coughs> 
Sometimes you, gotta, you gotta learn that, yeah. bro. Sometimes you just gotta learn that, like, you know what I'm saying? Shit happens. Mm. Stuff goes wrong. Not mm. everything is right. You know what I mean? Right. Like, life gets hard, bro. Like, right. there's gonna be something that's gonna fuck you up, bro. That's and right. if you can get past it, bro, and keep going, you can fucking get on to bigger and better things. But if you let that shit knock you down, bro, you let that shit stop you, you're done, bro. That's the only reason why people fucking don't make it, bro, is because they give up, bro. They let whatever fucking God placed in their way to make them stronger stop them, bro. They let that shit you know what I'm saying, up, bro. That shit is fucked and up, bro. That's that's not it's not even God. It's the devil. That's the devil you that you fucking your path, yeah, your wheel, exactly. Your journey. Yeah, you gotta. That's the test, though. You yeah, know, the you, test. When you overcome them, at them everyday struggles that you was enduring and, and succumbing to, and just you know falling into, when you yeah. start overcoming it and it's not being a problem and it's just a month, that's when you've done it. You know what I'm yeah. saying? You just take it like one step at a time. But you gotta. Uh, uh, this is what I'm wrapping my head around right now. Ain't nothing yeah. wrong with it, goddamn. No. Man. Me too, bro. Niggas want shit Every to be day, easy. Bro. You want that peace. You want the shit, that yeah. good, comfortable life. Nigga, certain things you got to do with yourself, and in certain ways, you got to stop treating people to obtain yeah. that shit. You can't be Facts, no ugly bro. ass motherfucker behind the clothed doors. You or can't. None of that, you know bro. what I'm saying? You got to really be genuine. Cut that bullshit out. 100%. Pass the test that's given to you yep. so you can get to, you know, what you deserve. And that's real, bro. Y'all that's been, real as fuck. Taught that since a kid. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Nigga lost his way a little bit and just right back in. It's like, Shit, thank you God for this. Yeah, like that's facts. all. That's all. That's all I can say. I ain't gonna go right. too into all it, but you know it's real. For but it's real though. You know what I'm saying? And, and everybody that's shit. watching that know. You know what I'm saying? They feel that shit, bro. I feel that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like it's real, bro. And I 100 percent agree with you, bro. Because that's what it all is. You know what I'm this saying? It's, take it's you being a good person. You know? What yeah, saying? you gotta every be day. You genuine, know? authentic. Like it don't matter if a motherfucker piss you. I be gotta try your best to facts. Just, you know, be like a very peaceful like controlled person because yeah. that's when you're going to get the best result yeah. out of this shit bro yeah facts. and that's you know in, in common sense it feel like but yeah it's not that easy you it's not that easy all the time shit, cause cause really if it was not. that easy nigga would have been mr miyagi with this shit sort of type shit, you yeah, know what i mean because consistency a big part and that's what niggas yeah. struggle with due to that what i was explaining exactly exactly all right, man. So we're winding down to the end of this pod here, man. We got a, n- a little new segment that I'm introducing today, bro. It's like a little hot takes, right? So, so you know what I'm saying? We're going to do a little hot takes, man. Hot takes with Juke, if you will. I like you know that. What I'm saying? I like that. I like hot that. takes with Juke. What's so, what's what are your thoughts on Gunna and his comeback? Work, young nigga. Work. Yeah. I ain't got nothing bad to say about no yeah. nigga that's trying to provide to do what yeah. he got to do for this. And that's kind of like what we were just saying, you know what I'm saying? Like, niggas was trying to knock Gunna down, you know what I'm saying? Like, after all that shit, whatever, whatever happened, you know what I'm saying? But, like, that nigga, it, if anything, bro, has fucking came back harder, stronger, you know what I'm saying? Just stayed, you know, he did, He hasn't let them knock him down yet, so yeah. I applaud him for that shit. Yeah, you can't, like, you know, if you're going to be a real person and speaking on the art and the artistry part of it, yeah. not the street politics part of it, it's just niggas are artists, yeah. you know what I'm saying? yeah. Yeah. So, what do you think of Tulsa's rap scene? Tulsa rap scene need further development. It's a lot of new shit going on. Shout out to Tulsa rap scene. You know what I'm saying? But uh, I would say like the people that's listening to the music, like the artists, gotta come more together and like develop an industry. We gotta start kicking it together. Like yeah, you know, doing more when niggas get a certain amount of views, a certain amount of publicity, like accepting mm-hmm. in, like hey, you finally work to become part of the Tulsa. Rap. You know, they mm-hmm. do more shit like that. It'll mm-hmm. be more separated. It'll be more look. You know, looked up upon because not just anybody can get to you. You got to know you're a yeah. certain type. Right, you know? right. Best sneaker of all time. Huh? Best sneaker of all time. Oh, I thought you said something else. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but say me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, but, uh, the, the best sneaker of all time. Bro, duh. I like, I, I'm going to have to go with Louboutins. Louboutins? Ooh, yeah, about them. Uh, I like red bottoms. You like red bottoms? I mean, I don't right. even know if that's a sneaker shit. They got sneakers. Hey, yeah. Louis. Yeah. yeah. I, I mean, like that's your, that's, hey, okay. What would you rate Drake's newest album? I didn't hear that shit. You haven't listened Which to Drake's newest album? The, for all the dogs. When did it come out? Like what? A, f- a month ago or so? Damn. I knew I was late on something. Yeah. Uh, I ain't, I've been just, I ain't really like, been you keep big up with like a lot of the new music, music right and now. stuff? I'm going to get back on it because you got to know what's going on. Do your shit. Sure. Yeah. But like I really didn't hear that nigga shit. I probably heard a song from it that's already yeah. TikTok going. You know, Drake going to be yeah, sure yeah, yeah. shit. He's got he's got some good shit on there. You should check it out. It's almost he, uh, it's a lot of people have been hating on it. He's but a like, level. He's a level that I would. I mean, and that's what's gonna happen. He's still gonna get your fucking money. Yeah, the song's still gonna get played. You still gonna force it on people. So but yeah. in my opinion, bro, it was it was actually a really great album. I think for someone like you too, like 
who appreciates like the real artistry side of it, yeah. I think you'll like it too. Oh, it's like almost like some old school Drake type shit. You know what I'm saying? Oh, a lot of shit real? he brings like, like if you need to. bro, like, that shit that he's got with uh with uh party next door. That shit is hard, bro. That's like some old school. You done hyped the nigga up. Yeah, bro. You're gonna have to. Yeah, you're gonna have to, yeah, gonna have to check it out. What is the one called with uh party next door? Do you know what it is? Members only. Members only. Oh, I heard this shit. That shit hard. You don't like that shit? He said, he said it like you didn't like nigga, it. Nah, it just ain't like. That shit is like some old school shit, bro. I, 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 I can't wait till September. It's cool. It's it's, right. it's it's the song that's gonna you know you put that money on it. All right, next take next next hot take. Tulsa or Dallas? What you mean? Which one would you rather? Which one do you like the most? Dallas. Dallas. Niggas gonna hate you, bro. They can suck my dick. <laughs> suck my motherfucking dick. On me. Shit, nigga, I bet better knives. You better reckon I better knives, <laughs> motherfucker. Hey, what's better for yourself? <laughs> Strip clubs or casinos? Shit, that's a tough one. You did your research, <laughs> nigga. You did your research, didn't you, nigga? <laughs> uh, shit, casino. The casino. I love the casino, <laughs> nigga. I'd probably choose. I've actually never been to a strip club. I really haven't. I've you never been to a strip you, club. You plan on ever going to one at any point? <sighs> Not that you're looking for anything. I'm just saying, like, I, it's honestly, just for entertainment purposes. Like, if me, you're that's looking, where I go get if you want me to be honest. Play. If you want me to be honest, my girl might hate me, but hell yeah, I want to go, bro. But I also, I'm, you know what I'm saying? I know that she, she don't want me to go. go with you. I want her to, bro. I would love for her to, but I don't think that she. She, okay, she's going to cool. be mad. So that's why I don't go. You know what I'm saying? I can respect it. You know what I'm saying? But I do want to go, though. But anyways, uh, the next. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I gotta go. I gotta yeah. move. moving on, moving yeah. on. Okay, diamonds or stocks? stocks? Which would you rather? Stocks, man. It's a secret vault everywhere, in, somewhere in the world with all the diamonds in there for cheap as fuck. I'm going with stocks for sure. Good one, good one, good one. Blue face or Lil Mabu? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Nigga. Fuck it, man. Blueface, man. <laughs> Blueface? Just because he a, he's still a nigga with certain things. I don't even know who the other dude is. Like, no Little disrespect bubbles. to the nigga. Or nothing, yeah. Man. I mean, I just seen what was going on. And I'm like, ah, well, I'm going to just, you know. I've never really heard any of his music man. either, yeah, but I just be seeing him, like, either. popping up all the time on, like, TikTok yeah, and shit. publicity with, with what's the name? I didn't, did they have beef or something? I'm guessing. Yeah. See, it was a, supposedly, I'm just going off. I don't know nothing. I'm not inside source. I ain't got nothing to do with this shit. Yeah. Um. I basically just seen basically what's going on, and it's like, oh, he basically shot a video with her. She with her, song yeah. With him. Yeah, then she, she got his name tatted. All this Damn. Stuff. <laughs> that, it's just the uh, Hollywood thing. Like, like, <laughs> Hollywood you know, that's, some, that's some stuff I'm not, like, yeah. I wouldn't be involved with. You know what I'm saying? Who is your GOAT comedian? Dave Chappelle. The fuck? Dave Chappelle? Dave Ch- fucking Pill. Hell yeah. Kevin Hart? Man, Dave Chappelle. Kevin Hart. Dave motherfucking Chappelle. Dave Chappelle. <laughs> Kevin Hart probably got his comedy from Dave Chappelle. Type shit. Probably. He started the Taj Point old, Key and Peel, yeah. all of that type setting. Dave yeah. Chappelle started that shit. Yeah. He's he definitely started a bringing the skits, getting the crowd out, talking to them, making them feel good, doing improv style comedy, and then having the skits ready on the screen to show for every scenario and play. Yeah. That. that nigga brought that shit out. The other niggas He's a legend. Copy. These niggas He's a follow legend. suit. These niggas follow suit. But Kevin Hart is the funniest, though. Kevin bro. Hart ain't never did no Dave Chappelle type shit. I Kevin fuck with him, that nigga funniest personality back even in Paper <laughs> Soldiers. <laughs> even in Paper that Soldiers. That shit funny, bro. The Hollywood <laughs> comedy type shit from him is not my type of shit. Yeah. The shit he had going on with the niggas and shit, hell yeah. You know, but get your bag. I never knock a nigga getting his bag. But yeah. I liked the, the Kevin Hart from Paper Soldiers where he was acting like little nigga, like, nigga, you ain't so cheap like no little ass. Like, that's a funny <laughs> ass nigga. Yeah. Not, you know what I'm saying? I don't do the movies he's doing now, acting like somebody's dad and the superhero shit. Um, yeah. Yeah, um, I like. I like. I think all his stand ups are more. Yeah, I think all his stand ups are way more like that. Nigga toured the world yeah, doing that shit, so he yeah. he definitely got some. His pressure. movies are a little less like you know like they seem more Hollywood that type one I've shit. Seen Hollywood but right his stand ups though, they're always fucking funny. They just seem real, like personable. You know what I mean? Like yeah, 
yeah. relatable type shit. Like he's just. But the bigger he got, the more it started changing to mainstream comedy jokes. Yeah. What you gonna change up for, for these people when they give you that bag? Yeah. What is it worth to you? Like. No, you know remember that soul playing yeah. type shit. Yeah. That soul you know, playing Kevin Hart. Yeah. Contract and shit and all that ain't none of my business. But you know you gotta really think about this. Yeah. Shit. That for nigga sure. wanted the bag. He getting the bag. Yeah. Go artist. Shit. I'm not gonna be no cliche ass nigga and say what everybody that's big headed would say. I'm gonna really pick somebody. Uh, Who do you think everybody would say? Everybody would probably say themselves because I think I'm pretty fucking good. I'm just under, yeah. under work right now. You know, what yeah. I'm, saying? I'm still developing. I'm yeah. not in my peak. Yeah, you know, I can keep it real, but I'm still better than a lot of other niggas. Yeah. So shit, you know, <laughs> say what the fuck you want. You know what I'm saying? Say yeah. what the fuck you want, but shit. Like, yeah. yeah, I would say like I would have to put Future and Thug up there. Future or Thug? Yes. Not even on no dick ride and shit, just because, yeah. like, the artistry part, like, how they, like, use the spaces and their voices, like, as an actual instrument. Like, I'm looking at the music music yeah. theory side of it, you know what I'm saying? It's yeah. things in Dallas, t- you know, Dallas and shit, they be spitting and shit that I listen to, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like, niggas in Houston, too, you know what I'm saying? Just listen to niggas in Houston that spit yeah. and all that shit like that. So it's different type of influences, but Who do you two niggas got that global fucking success, like, I, I see myself having. I probably would say Drake, honestly. Drake is Drake is pretty good. Drake, yeah, Drake is pretty. I good. mean, and a lot of people, you know, it's like one of those things. I just and I just think for him, like more like a globe, like you said, global standpoint of it. Like, I just, who's more known than Drake? You know, and he's like as long as he's been doing you're right, shit. You're right. You Chris Brown pretty known though. Chris Brown. Chris Brown is that's a good one too though. That's Chris that's Brown's not pretty known. He has the only thing is they're, they're, they're kind of like a, a different like genre, but like they're the same though too. Like I would honestly put them in the same, but it's hard because they also do kind of the you know what I'm saying. Chris Brown is traditionally more R and B, where Drake is traditionally kind of more also of a hip hop too. Though. But they're also more of the same though too. Like, but I mean that's a good one though. Too. Drake, Chris Drake Bra- having more more his way though. He's having it just a little bit more. But Chris and Brown's only name. because Tri- Chris Brown has been more like, he's done more controversial shit. You know what I'm saying? And gotten more trouble than Drake has. Drake had to had persevere. That. He had to conquer that Yeah, <laughs> exactly. That nigga had to conquer that situation, bro. <clears throat> but but that's a good one, though. But who, okay, so who would you say is your favorite artist, though? Because my favorite artist of all time, Kevin Gates. Why? Bro, Kevin Gates, that shit. I've been listening to Kevin Gates since fucking a long time. Cold man. World. Bro, what? Cold World? You ain't never heard of it? That's J. Cole. Uh-uh. Yeah. You don't know Kevin Gates that good, do you? No, I know Kevin I Gates. I just poisoned a card, bro. No, I know Kevin Gates. I've been abused by this cold, cold, cold world. Okay, okay. You slip. Cold man. world. Okay, I thought you cold said cold world. world. Nah, nigga. I'm cold world. Okay, Gates. okay. I'm talking about yeah, like Kevin Gates back in fucking, uh, fuck, remember, all in. I listen to the early Gates. The early, early the, Gates. I, he was hard. He was spitting. Yeah. It's not that he. He just. It's. It's who. You he don't even know Kevin Gates' his real name. I don't give a damn. <laughs> what is his name? Marcellus. Marcellus what? Marcellus Kevin Gates. Ah, nigga lying. No, I'm not. Uh, That's his lying. real name. Okay. Marcellus Kevin Gates. I'm a Kevin Gates real supporter. Okay. Yeah, I'm not. So. <laughs> I mean, I, 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 it's nothing against him. I, I fuck with his song. He got. He's, yeah. he's, a, he's a he's a he's a star. He, he's somebody. But I liked his old name. stuff though more. His old stuff That's was, the shit was, was that was my resonated shit. That's me. My, yeah. When I was like, like sixteen to nineteen. How old are you now? Old. 26. Me too. So, yeah, that's about when I'm 15 to about, yeah, about 19. I should have lied, but no, I'm playing. <laughs> <laughs> that shit, once you get to that age, you feel like, what's the point of, like, you know, that like, shit. playing, you get more mature. You know? Way more, yeah. yeah. You don't got no choice. Man. Yeah. It's but you still got to have fun, though, bro. And deal, I, man. bro, I thank you for coming on here, bro, and having fun with me, bro. Because I, I swear to God, bro, I ain't laughed this hard on the pod ever, bro. Like, this shit was fun, bro. Niggas like, got high. Take some shots. <laughs> just, just vibe. Just vibe organic. down, bro. Organic. For sure. For sure. So we done with the hot takes and shit, man. Kind of coming to the end of this, man. What 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 can the people expect next from you? My What's music, next coming from June? My music. My music. Juke. I said, I don't, I'm said drunk, June. bro. I did say June, bro. I'm ooh, glad you caught me, bro. Thank you, bro. <laughs> ooh. Dun, dun, dun. And y'all have a similar <laughs> name. You know what I'm saying? I get it a lot. Like, I get I'm it just a been lot. drinking, bro. No, no, don't follow me, bro. Okay. Come on, bro. It's okay, bro. It's okay. What's next coming from Juke? Uh, so we got a, a 
a lot of music, a lot of new shit, a lot of like trying new shit, and, like consistency for sure, a lot more consistency. Social media presence going crazy. Yeah, and just you know, just expect to see my fucking face in a lot more places and like just doing a lot more shit, music related, like shit like this, podcasts, features, yeah. you know, just, just all type of shit like this. What did, what did you just something happened the other day, bro? Like you did something, bro. I, I don't know. I was telling somebody, I was my homie that's coming over today. He's about to shoot a pod. I was like, yeah, I'm about to have a uh, Juke coming over. I, was, I sent him your profile. I'm like, he got like 77k followers. The next day, I looked and he was at like 79. I'm like, bro, just gained like two followers, or two thousand followers in like a day. Post consistently. I'm like, bro, what did you just do? Like, Post <laughs> bro, just going crazy, going Post crazy consistent. right now. That's what's up, bro. I appreciate that, bro. I appreciate you pulling up on me today here in the beautiful city of Dallas, man. Shooting this pile with me, bro. Coming on, having a few shots, smoking with me and shit, bro. That was hella dope, bro. Hella love, man. I appreciate that, man. Hell you got anything yeah. else you want to shout out, bro? Any, any plugs shout you want to give, bro? Shout out being living, you know what I'm saying? Shout out, you know, my family, nigga. Shout out my supporters. Shit, shout out the block. <laughs> you know Let's I mean? go, man. Appreciate hey. you having me on. For sure, bro. For sure. We appreciate all you guys for watching, tuning in, subscribing. Till next time, bro. That's another episode of Everybody Hates Jabber, guys. We out. <laughs>